This is a clip from the Chris Brake Show podcast. Yeah, it does seem like, from listening to your podcast, it seems like a lot of things like that happen to you where your impressions are just so good that it's kind of screwing up your career, like that Arnold thing you did with the metal band. Oh, man, <laughs> Austrian Death Machine. You know, Austrian Death Machine was great. I did their second album, Double Brutal. Double Brutal. Ah, it was a lot of that shit. You know? and, uh, but it was great. It was great. And then so the, the guy, Tim Lambesis, I, I think he's in a little bit of legal trouble right now, but we won't get into that. Tim's had some troubles. God bless him. I think he went to jail, that guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hope he works that out. God bless him. Anyway, but that's what you get. That's what you get, motherfucker, for not putting me on your third album, all right? You don't have to, no, yeah, you recorded it, because no, you, no, you do, like, conversational impressions. Like, I mean, you do it to where it actually sounds like the person talking. It doesn't sound like some, you know, like, cliche guy going, rah, rah, rah. You know, it actually... No, no, it actually right. I mean... Yeah, 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 no, I mean, if you, you know, first of all, let me tell you, first of all, you know... That's a great movie uh, that I did with Stallone, and it's fantastic. And it was uh, uh, it was called the uh, Escape Plan and all that. And it was great because you know we were in there in the prison, and I'm like, we're gonna get out of here, you know. And then we did it. It's great. It's great. Yeah, that's it. That's so impressive, man. Yeah, but they but that's not what they wanted. So you did all this stuff, and then they decided the death machine. They just they wanted someone who was worse than you. It sounded like. Well, they that's what they said. That's what they said. But I think it was a cop out because he said because I did their album. The second album came out, but the audience, the fan base, was like the first guy on the first album was better. And of course, on the first album, he was like, "Ah, oh, get to the top, you know." And it's funny. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's funny, but uh, they didn't want that. So, but I think instead of coming out and telling me that, they just had me replaced by some other guy who's really talented, uh, Joe Gaudet, G A U D E T. Joe does an amazing Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, it's like, that's cool. So that's kind of why I got turned off on doing impressions. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to start doing some other shit. And uh, that's what I'm doing. From the Chris Break Show Podcast.